Do you have a car? If, if yes, yes, click the subscribe button now. Believe us, sooner or later you will need our help. We bet that you had to replace a burnt out headlight bulb at least one time in the past. Don't go to an expensive dealer for a simple bulb replacement. Subscribe to this channel and save time and money. Here you will find the best in the world information about halogen, xenon, and LED headlights. Based on more than 20 years experience, we will also show you how to troubleshoot and repair your headlights. Subscribe, camera, action, lights. Hi guys, today I will make the last video for Passat 3C by Xenon IFS headlights. This video particularly is related with the later type Volkswagen Passat headlight, IFS headlight from 2008, uh, if I am not mistaken from the second half of 2008 till 2010, till the very end of the model. Uh, I will make this video because the Passat headlights, IFS headlights from 2005 to 2010 are two types. All other videos you can find in your channel about the Volkswagen Passat uh, Xenon headlights are related with the earlier type Xenon headlights, which are from 2005 to 2008. Basically, they have a completely different uh, Xenon system and IFS system from the later type. Today, this is the only video about the later type and I will try to explain you uh, how to troubleshoot the low beam, high beam failures and the IFS failures. After stating that they are different, they are not interchangeable, they are completely different, you cannot uh, put uh, an earlier type to a later type car, so be careful. As stated, the later type, the Passat headlight, is from two, second half of 2008 till 2010. Here we have completely different Xenon system. First of all, if you have a, the Xenon system consists of one the Valeo 6G uh, Xenon ballast and one, uh, one D1S Xenon bulb. This is your system basically, as you can see. Uh, Valeo 6G Xenon ballast and D1S Xenon bulb. This is your Xenon system. It has nothing to do with the IFS system. They are completely different circles inside. Hence, if you, if you have a low beam or a high beam failure, if your Xenon bulb more accurately is not lighting, it means that either your xenon bulb or your xenon ballast is faulty. Uh, the Valeo 6G usually is with number 890349349934. There, there is one another version, but uh, anyway, the what you have to know is that this is the Valeo 6G uh, ballast unit that is powering your xenon bulb. Given that your xenon bulb is working, you have to replace your xenon ballast if you have a low beam failure. The location of the xenon ballast, you can see, is at the side. At the earlier headlight, uh, IFS headlights, the xenon ballast were, were located underneath the headlight. In the later type, as you can see, it is located at the side of the headlight. You, you will need Torx 20 to remove the two screws in order to re remove the ballast unit. Let me remove the cover and the bracket. If you have a, if you have a access to the screws, basically you can change the ballast unit without uh, re removing the whole headlight from the car. But if you have a access to these two screws. I already demonstrate your Xenon system. Let's see the IFS system right now. I already removed the three plugs that are connected to IFS module here. Let me remove also the final screw. I already removed the other ones in order not to not to waste time. Basically, you have an IFS module here. In the later type, 
more, what you have to know is that unlike the earlier type, you have one uh, IFS module which is interchangeable between the right and left side. That's to say, they are not sided. You have only one IFS module for both headlights. I mean the same part number. There are two modules, but they are same. So if you have a uh, IFS uh, failure, then you can swap the IFS modules between the headlights in order to see whether the fault is at the IFS module or not. The IFS module part number is 7L6. 941 329A. What you have to uh, notice that uh, before buying the replacement unit, your uh, uh, your IFS module should end with letter A. You should definitely find with letter A. Unlike the uh, other the earlier models, as I uh, told before, they are interchangeable between. So. Let's look inside the headlight. You have, as, uh, as already shown, you have one D1S Xenon bulb inside. Uh, for bad luck, it's uh, located very uh, inside the headlight. It's, uh, it's a pain to change it without removing the headlight, but still possible, but you are risking to break your expensive Xenon headlight. As you can see, the Xenon headlight is fixed with a locking mechanism inside which you have to turn counterclockwise and then you can remove the xenon bulb as stated in order to release the xenon bulb you have to turn counterclockwise a counter turn by the way let me remove it yes this one is the d1s and let's see again in the newer type headlights you you have i don't know whether you can see or not under the projector there is a huge black black electronic plate basically in this electronic plate you have your ifs plus by xenon uh, regulating system the uh, if you if you have a uh, high beam failure if you have a low beam but if you don't have a high beam it means that the uh, shutter inside is not working which is part of this black electronic plate so you, you have to replace whole headlight if you don't have a high beam given that you have a low beam because this is a bi-xenon headlight and the head uh, the low and high beams are at the d1s xenon bulb so if the xenon bulb is lighting but you don't have a high beam, it means that this electronic plate is not working underneath the projector. The other thing that I have to show you, you have one vertical, vert, uh, vertical uh, range adjustment uh, headlight motor. In the previous uh, headlights, earlier models, you also had underneath the projector another horizontal leveling motor, but in this case you don't have it. And I have to show also the final part in the headlight regarding the IFS function is your, this is your swivel module position sensor. In the earlier headlights from 2005 to 2008, you have, you had two sensors, one at each headlight and they were not interchangeable. But in this case, you have only one swivel module position sensor that can uh, get faulty and it's interchangeable between the headlights you can move the you can move the sensors between the headlights in order to find exact ifs uh, fault if you have an ifs failure at your headlights all other things are same you have one auxiliary h7 bulb here and if you have a ifs fault at your dashboard first thing first thing that you have to do is to check this h7 uh, auxiliary bulb when you are turning to the right or left depending on your steering wheel position this uh, h7 auxiliary bulb also activates and, and if if it gets burns then if it also gives a uh, ifs failure at your dashboard let me see whether i have forgotten something i already mentioned the vertically 
headlight motor which regulates your beam vertically. I already mentioned the electronic plate under underneath the projector. You can see basically it's not uh, replaceable. You have if you, if this electronic plate gets faulty, you have to change cool headlight. I already mentioned the swivel model position sensor. I already mentioned that this is interchangeable between headlights. You have to exactly find the 329A. I already mentioned that, by the way, for the Valeo 6G ballast unit, the uh, VAC, the VAC part number is 4L0907391. I guess this is all for the Passat headlight, IFS uh, by Xenon headlights. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, guys. All the best. Bye for now.